Hi guys! Gonna wait a few seconds to see who's coming on. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about Rosh Hashanah Glam. So Rosh Hashanah, is, for those of you who don't know, it is our Jewish holiday. Uh, it's New Year's. So for two days, or so two nights, um, we come together as a family, we don't use any electronics, we cannot use makeup that is, uh, you know, liquid or cream. Um, it has to be only powder. And uh, we basically eat and enjoy each other's company, we go to the synagogue, it's, it's a really fun family holiday. So, um, since I've done a Sabbath video before and you guys loved it so much and I really, really appreciate it, I wanted to hop on here and do a video for Rosh Hashanah. So obviously we want to look glamorous and pretty. Hi Larissa, thank you for joining. Um, we want to look really pretty and we cannot, we're very limited in what we can use. So I literally thought of, of doing this this morning because I actually had a different video to do in mind. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, but I think this is important to, that, that we, um, we just feel good on a holiday, right? Okay, so um, I'm going to be using my natural powders from the natural uh, line, okay? So Because remember, I have two makeup lines. One is professional, one is all natural. So in my all natural line, we do have powders that you can apply directly on your face. There are certain rules that I'm going to go over in a, in a minute. Um, so we're going to be applying foundation. We're going to be applying um, blush couple of eyeshadows, a liner, it's going to be really cute. So um, keep in mind that none of it has any creams or, or liquids in it. So it's just pure pigments. It's, it's literally just um, minerals. It, it, there's a crushed mineral, minerals and they're pharmaceutical grade. Okay. So they're, they're really good for your face, for your skin. They're breathable and you can reapply it throughout the whole um, holiday. Okay. So I'm going to go over the rules because they're very important. And also before I go over the rules, it is important that you speak to your rabbi in advance, like, you know, before, before it, because some of them may ask you not to apply any makeup. Um, so for the rest of us who will be doing it, keep on watching. So the rules are that you use separate brushes. So I'm going to be using today my four in one brush, which I love. It's my go to brush. Um, also, I'm going to be using my small rounded um, face. Okay, it's number 200. Also, for my brows, I'm going to be using my slant number 52. And I might use um, number 83 small all over. We'll see. So. Um, so the rules are that you use a different brush for different color. Okay. If you're going to be using the same color, you can use the same brush, but it's very, and if you believe that you'll forget which one you use, then you don't want to reapply. You have a lot of brushes. They must be clean. Your face must be clean and dry. So it cannot be wet because if it's wet, it is considered like you have liquid makeup on and you're not allowed to mix in color. Okay, so um, you apply it with different brush. So what does that mean? So you have a brush for foundation, you have a separate brush for blush, you have a separate blush for different color eyeshadow that you're going to be applying. Um, you have to have a blush, uh, whatever you're going to be using, you have to have a separate brush for different color. Okay, number two, um, it cannot have any moisture in it. So no liquids, no creams, you cannot allow, you're not allowed to use any of that. And I'm also going to be writing those rules uh, in the description box so you'll know. Um, also, you cannot overlap the colors because that's considered painting. So you don't, you don't want to do that. Hi guys. So um, first I'm going to start, the, the rule really is that you apply blush before you apply foundation. Okay. Hi Louise, thank you for joining. So um, I'm going to start with the blush and I'm going to use my four in one. I'm going to use this end. And I'm gonna use today a Crushed Mineral Blush Flirt, okay? So it comes in, in a five gram size like this. And it's extremely pigmented, I'm gonna show you. I picked up a little bit, look at this. It's a crazy pigment, so you wanna use very small amount. You don't wanna overuse this. And you're gonna know how much you need once you start using it. I'm gonna show you how much I'm going to put. So my face is completely dried. I'm gonna just tap. Little, like, look at this, it's crazy pigment. 
you want to just tap it back and then push the minerals in like this you don't want to blow them off because you're going to be wasting it you don't want to waste it so just go like this okay and start applying blush you want to apply look at this look this is already plenty but of course you can put a little bit more um, I just like to start a little bit less because I don't want to over apply this is a pr look at this you see the the difference it's crazy um, and the same thing on the other side also pick it up push them in same thing see it's even too much it's crazy the pigments are insane okay so you applied it on your cheeks look at the mirror it's hard to see I'm gonna just get rid of some of it it's really strong okay now I'm going to grab my foundation I'm gonna use Mariah which is actually my favorite also comes in a five uh, gram size and I'm gonna be using this side of the four and one so again the same thing just dip it just dust it off a little bit same way with that brush tap it in and you just go around around your blush if you don't need foundation then don't use it i like to use foundation i think it's really it really adds to it I hope you can see well what I'm covering here I am leaving this part out on purpose because I'm gonna be putting eyeshadow there see the mirror Go around the blush. You don't want to overlap. And these rules obviously only apply on the holidays, right? Like Sabbath. Um, so. It really very, is very simple. it okay so now you have your foundation on and your blush is here so I'm not going over it with the blush so now I'm going to start putting on my eyeshadow now I chose a, a blue because I'm wearing blue but I have a, like 20 colors so you can choose from them I'm gonna use this side of um, the four-in-one brush okay and I'm gonna be using the color bell bottom blue and I'm gonna show you the pigment it is insane look at this pigment and this is like a, a touch so you can see half fashion fashion trends thanks for joining um, let me just erase it so you could see how pigmented the color is it's crazy so you want to use a very little amount okay so I'm gonna pick up the pigment with this side of the four and one very small amount oh my gosh very small amount and then I'm gonna just go in here so the trick is this you can apply it with your finger and it will be stronger and you can apply it with your um, brush and it'll be lighter so it's up to you guys You can make it as glam or not as you want. I love smoky, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a smoky look. So this is obviously very um, diffused look, 
okay? Okay. But I'm gonna show you if you apply it with your finger what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna take a little bit. Look at that. It's crazy. Do you see this? It's it's unbelievable. Hi Amy. So now you have your blue shadow on. Um, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do the other one also. So summer has coming to an end. Who's excited and who's upset? I'm very excited that kids start school tomorrow. Hey, Tamara. So, there you go. And now you can go in. I'm going to do it the same way. Hi. Can you imagine you walk into a synagogue looking like this on Rosh Hashanah? They're going to be like, oh my God, she broke all the rules. And she's wearing makeup. But you actually followed all the rules. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Yes, it is. And then you can brag to them about how you saw this tutorial, right? Let me fix it a little bit. Okay, great. Tamara, your, your kids started school yet? All right, so now I'm going to use this side of the brush and pick up, we're going to do a liner. This one is Witch's Brew, which is black. Yes, the big boys did. Oh, good. My kids are actually starting tomorrow, so I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, so you're going to pick up the pigment with this side, a very small amount. And I will swatch it for you also. So look, I'm just dipping it like a little bit. And this is the color. It is so black. It is so black that it's black. It's crazy. But it has that kind of, um, what is this sheen? Like a blue-black tint to it. I don't know if you can see it well over there, but it's so gorgeous. It's like one of my favorite. So you're just going to dip in. Brush it off a little and then go underneath. This is like a full glam look for Shoshana. Since we cannot use any pencils, right? What do you think? Too much, too little? So we're obviously not allowed to put on any mascara. Love the blue on you. Thank you. I actually matched it up to my shirt. That's why I'm using blue. But you can choose from like 20 colors that I have in that. There's a mineralized shimmers actually. What do you think? Works? Let me see in the mirror. Yeah, okay, very good. Um, yes, I see, lol. <laughs> um, okay, so, and of course, if you want to do your brows, which, you know, it's up to you, you can. I'm going to be using my brow, brown faux slant number 52. And I love it because it does have that slant, so it's like perfect to get in your brows. I don't have a lot to work on, but this is great to um, to do. Hi, Leo Torviagens. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. So I'm going to be using um, Espresso Foundation color. It's just dark brown. And 
literally just gonna dip into it because it's very strong and I'm gonna go it's hard to see here but just fill in your brows very lightly Ta-da! it's so easy right it should be legal Hey, Esther. All right. So now that we've done pretty much everything that we can for this particular look, um, if you want to get creative, some of the other options that you can have is you can put a lighter color, like on the brow bone. Um, just be careful that you don't overlap the colors, okay? So... And now, for the final touch, we're gonna put lipstick on, right? I'm gonna be using the lip color, which is also in the Mineral Eye Shimmers collection, and this is one. This one is Berry Bronze. Um, I'm gonna show you the pigment. I'm gonna pick up a little bit. I'm gonna show you how strong this pigment. I don't have, I'm running out of space here. Look at this pigment. Isn't this gorgeous? So you have a choice between applying it with a uh, brush or with your finger. I like to do it with my finger because I feel like it, be, it, it just looks more, um, much, much stronger. So remember, your lips have to be dry. You cannot like lick them in advance or like some, no, it has to be completely dry. Look at this color. That's it. I think you're gonna be the hottest one at the table if you do this. I really think so. And I wanna see pictures. I wanna see some serious picture taking. I mean, not on holiday, because you're not allowed. But right before the holiday. I wanna see some pictures. That is your Rosh Hashanah Jewish New Year holiday glam. Okay, you can do your hair in advance. I just flat ironed it. Nothing special. My hair is actually very curly. A lot of people don't know that. My hair is super, super, super curly. And I have to flat iron it to make it look straight. And I'm naturally brunette. Black, black, black hair. Okie dokie. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel at NLA Cosmetics. If you're not following me, I am so upset. I'm just kidding. Please go follow my channel. I would really appreciate it. Like it, share it. Um, if you have an idea for a tutorial, I would love to do it. Shoot me an email. Um, I have a lot of requests to do a lot of uh, more of Sabbath makeup. So, if you think it's a great idea, let me know as well because I'm going to be doing it. Um, or whatever else you like. Um, tomorrow, I'm thinking of doing a five-minute cut crease. Tell me what you think. Um, I love doing makeup in five minutes because I think that for a busy person, like most of us, um, we don't have time to sit there and do this glamorous uh, look for forever. So I'm going to continue the series of five-minute makeup. Um, this was a Rosh Hashanah look. So, you know, I'm going to post the details of what I've used links to everything um remember you are allowed to reapply it all day long make sure you do not use brushes um with different color with different color pigments on it okay so i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow enjoy your day tomorrow school starts for a lot of us i'm so excited my kids are gonna go back to school i am super excited okay love you bye